My question is, are you tired of Candace Owens yet? Are you a fan of Can Candace Owens? Do you listen to her podcast? Do you watch her YouTube channel? Well, I've heard the name Candace Owens over the years, and I never really seen a need to give her talking points much energy because her opinions, I don't know. There's something about her that kind of irks me, but things about her irks a lot of people. But basically, I've been more than happy to keep her name out of my mouth. Keep my wife's name out your f mouth! But during Fashion Week, she joined forces with Kanye West. Sorry, I mean, yay. <laughs> Once rapper, producer, now turned professional troll whose sanity is always in question. Yet, he, made, he makes headlines all the time. But two weeks ago, he made headlines because him and Candace Owens uh, were having, you know, had matching White Lives Matters t-shirts on during his uh, fashion show in Paris. And Ye also posted an Instagram message an Instagram message saying Black Lives Matter is a scam. Then follow up he followed up with that with a stew of anti Semitic remarks. So the anti Semitic remarks is what kinda gotten him a lot of exposure but bad publicity, which I don't think he even cares about I think he sees bad publicity and good publicity is just publicity those anti-semitic remarks caused him to be booted from Instagram and Twitter but here is Candace Owens again coming to Ye's defense with a lopsided explanation of what Ye actually said this is a woman who once sued her high school or over racist threats and bullying. But now she's defending someone who's saying racist things and who's a bully. I was looking at YouTube. So I was looking at YouTube and I saw that Candace Owens has some documentary out there supposedly exposing the Black Lives Matter organization and also claiming that George Floyd died of a fentanyl overdose. And of course, the trial of Derek Chauvin proved that George Floyd was murdered by former Minneapolis police officer Dave Derek Chauvin. Now, I think it's great when people have their own perspective, which Candace Owens does have a unique perspective, especially for an African American woman. And she has her own perspective and her own point of view, and that's totally fine. To me, if someone's opinion is devoid of the beaten path. But the problem that I have with Candace Owen and Ye is that a lot of this stuff is just a whole bunch of publicity stunts. And it feels very gimmicky and it feels like it's just all to make a buck or just to get your name out there. And a lot of times when I see people in the public who do stuff like this, it always backfires in the long run. I think it always um, leads to just something that's not good for that individual. And then, of course, you know, it's been some I've seen some crazy stories about Kanye West. I saw him uh, where an interview where he walked out and walked out of an interview. No, yay. Let me explain to you. I'm not doubting what you you're saying. You don't care. I do care. You don't care about me. You don't care about my people. I care about me. I care about my people. So it's for me to stand up. And God forbid I step on someone's toes while I'm at it. It's not someone's toes. You stepped on the entire Jewish people's toes with a very deeply inflammatory tweet, which I think you've now accepted. You shouldn't have phrased that way. It's taken a bit of time to get there, but I think you have accepted that, right? Have you accepted that you've put no effort into understanding how I got there. If I, I don't think, I don't back, think, honestly, 10 years from now, honestly, 
I don't think there You're is gonna any... You're going to apologize to me about this no, I'm not. interview. I'm not. You're going to apologize to me about this interview within the next 10 years. No, I'm not, because here's the thing. Mark I don't, my words. I don't doubt you've had... It's bis- very one-sided. No, it's, it's not. Very, it's no, very it's not. white-sided. Oh, come it's on. It's very Yay. one-sided. Don't. It's very like... It's, yeah. not, it's not white-sided. I'm not doubting you've had business issues. I'm saying the way to respond to that is you not to go public. Me. to keep on Okay, if that's your position, Inter- that's clear. Interview, interview adjourned. Love you. <laughs> so that was kind of crazy. And then he was kicked out of Ske- Skechers. I think he went to a Skechers. Attend another incident involving the rapper formerly known as Kanye West. He showed up uninvited at the Skechers store in Manhattan Beach and was promptly kicked out of the building. Store officials say West arrived with his own camera crew and demanded...